All right, everyone. So I just received my all-weather Tesla Model 3 mats from Tesla. So I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of my experience. So here I'm opening this thing up. Uh, I actually like how it's packaged. It seems very slim and compact and has everything I need to protect my car. So in regards to opening the package, like I said, it's pretty easy. You just rip it open. Uh, everything comes compact in four individual pieces. Um, and then there's an instruction manual that is probably the most straightforward multi-language instruction manual I've ever seen. Okay, so there it is. Um, two front and two rear emplacements. Um, in the back, there's uh, a velcro like material to hold them in place um, for all of them and then the two rear actually have a connective uh, side capability so th this is uh, just me putting it in the vehicle um, as you can see I was able to just rapidly take out the old one which was looked and seemed very cheap and put in the new one um, as far as protection in the sides um, seems to fit very well and it uh, adds to the sleek look that the car offers so it's very tight uh, customized fit to the side walls and to the rear um, portion of the front seat and then for the for the passenger seat and then for the front um, again just taking that the old ones out as you can see also I have the top fit um, performance pedals and these look very nice complimentary with those um, but yeah so uh, again another tight customized fit excuse excuse the dirtiness in there um, but as you can see like as far as maneuverability and moving it it's really easy it probably took me 50 you know five minutes or less to set up this whole thing but um, I'm easily able to wrap it around uh, my pedals and then as you can see I'm trying to make sure it's tight to the sides and also tight to the uh, whatever that thing is called to the left of the brakes right so very very custom to fit design Okay, so everything works there. Again, excuse my dirty leaves for my shoes. Um, now, I'm, you know, I'm gonna set up the rear. So, um, again, even easier. So that I took up the one piece module um, that's in the back. Um, and that was pretty easy. And then grabbing the passenger rear seat module to install that. Uh, again, it's just way too simple. Um, and like I said, I really like that Tesla logo. Um, one thing to note when you, you know, when it comes to slippage or putting shoes in there, it seems pretty uh, skid free, I guess. I really, really liked it compared to the old ones as far as how it felt to, 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 to drive with it on okay so this is the piece that's the most tricky piece in the install I, I don't think I fully figured this out but I, I tried but it, they're like Legos essentially between the left and the right um, rear mats so they're like a Lego piece so going back to that when I initially tried to put it in I could not get them to sit so I just kind of lifted it up and pushed them in and I kind of got it but to be upfront with you I'm not sure um, but protection wise it looks pretty good um, okay so that's pretty much it uh, I was able to set up the front and rear I'll just do one quick overview um, any questions you have about setting this up or any questions you have about this, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, thanks again, and have a good day. Thank you.